your hands lifted tonight. Sing, You are Alpha, all over this place. Sing. Only the sisters, you are Alpha.
are singing worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. My God, my God, my God, the one who rides on the wings of the wind, we declare. of an atmosphere there is a huge chance that you can have an encounter depending on your response and on your posture worship is, is the way that we ascend into the holiest place so I will just beg you tonight everyone here those who came with cameras forget about filming me every time you do that you you transfer the focus on me 
I want you to to hit a gosha tonight. I came here with a grace tonight to change somebody's season. I came as a sent one tonight. If you don't touch God tonight, it's your fault. If you don't touch Him tonight, I prayed a little bit before I came here, just praying in the spirit and just building up my faith and begging Him for a sound for you. Just lift your hands and cry. If you call Him, He will show up. Your name be praised. Your name. I minister the heavens already open your eyes are open the prophetic will be active now That's right. That's right. Let it rise. Oh, that's the sound of worship. journey tonight
my God, my God, the four and twenty elders, they fall down before this one. The one who prevailed to take the book and to open the scroll. Hallelujah, my God, my God. Rainbows are round about his throne. Weep not for the Lion of Judah, the root of David. He has prevailed, he has prevailed. He has prevailed. I came here as his prophet. I came here as his psalmist to declare that he has prevailed. God has given the psalmist here grace to do that. I just brought my little one. There is a place in the spirit. There is a place. And I want you to make up your mind to know that place tonight. I want you to call your your members together leave your phones call your thoughts call your members set your affection on him you will hear his voice tonight Yeah. 
Don't clap. Just, just set your heart on him. Just, just shut out every distraction. Deuteronomy 32, verse 13. He has caused me, me to ride on the high places of the earth, to eat the increase of the field, to suck honey out of the rock, and oil from the flinty rock. Just enjoy his presence. We will dance probably at the end, but these are the deep places of God. Your name. 
graciously given by this dear man of God and I began to meditate and I realized that silence is a sound in the spirit you know thank God for beat thank God for rhythm and all of that but I found out in my work with God that some of the deepest places in God in the place of stillness be still and know the Bible says that there was silence in heaven for half an hour there are dimensions of God that just are opened up to us so for the next 30 seconds just soak you don't have to say anything just behold him. Behold him. Nobody moving. The Lord is in his holy temple. There's such river in this place, prophet. There's such utterance. Behold him on the cross. Behold his nail pierced hands. See the blood dripping from Calvary. Thank you. 
going somewhere tonight. Just, just follow me as I follow God tonight. Just follow. We're going somewhere. Psalm 50, verse 5. New Living Translation. Psalm 50, verse 5. New Living Translation. Bring my faithful people to me. Those who made a covenant with me by giving sacrifice. Somebody say sacrifice. Say sacrifice. There is no altar without sacrifice. Even in the demonic, they understand sacrifice. What we came tonight to offer was sacrifice. But let me show you something because I'm going to ask you to do something now. Go to verse 23. And there are different types of sacrifice when it comes to God. But I'll show you one that I want you to, to, to offer up on this altar because the fire is going to fall. You see, having pastored for a few years and traveled the world and missed, you know, being a minstrel for great men of God and crusades, the Lord has taught me a few things about this ministry, about sounds, about worship, about praise, the dynamics. You can ask people in the demonic. When they are seeking a higher power, a higher realm of power, they have to come with a higher dimension of sacrifice. There are certain times they want power to wield influence for something. And at that level, they don't go for animal sacrifice. They begin to ask for human beings. <laughs> But thank God for the ultimate sacrifice on the cross of the king. You will call to remembrance like David in Psalm 136. The things God has done for you. I was watching that video and seeing the, the, the great things God has done with this great man of God. And I'm going to give Potter's house three minutes. And I say one, two, three. You will release it place sacrifice on this altar because the fire will fall are you ready one two three open your mouth and release thanksgiving thank you for potter's house thank you for potter's city thank you for potter's nation Thanksgiving. Don't pray in the spirit, in your understanding. Can you put some 136 for the people as an example? Open your mouth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving this house a voice. If I were you, I would invest some sacrifice. All that speak, all that speak, you better put sacrifice on the altar. Is that the weight of the sacrifice you want? <laughs> Those of you online. If, if you're asking for one of my secrets in life, this is it. I just gave you a secret. Potter City, you are not thanking him enough. You are going somewhere. Out loud, the fruit of your lips. <laughs> Give him thanks. Earlier this year in 
in Calgary, I woke up early and began to offer up this sacrifice. And I was weeping and crying before the Lord. My family was asleep. And then the Spirit of God spoke into my heart. And I heard the word, He giveth more grace. As I gave thanks, God released more grace. James 4 6. That word more is the word mega. He gives mega grace. Do you want mega grace? Release mega thanks. When I think upon your goods and your faithfulness each day, I'm convinced this night because I am one to receive the kind of love that you give. We're still loading the altar with sacrifice. Come to sing this song of to leave the place of thanksgiving I've not started though this is laying the context because the fire is going to fall I'm going to sound a prophetic trumpet sound and we will rejoice but see before Elisha called on fire he prepared the altar the, I'm, I'm teaching you dynamics the, the way to touch the real power of God fire does not fall on nothing it falls on sacrifice i have showed you from scripture the lord himself says thanksgiving is the sacrifice that truly in other words there are sacrifices that please him but the one that truly pleases him i want you to take one more minute you will call those things by name see david showed us a system psalm 136 Oh, give thanks for his messenger forever. The one who did this for his messenger forever. Don't say, I thank you for everything. Thank him for specifics. As you do that, the Holy Spirit will remind you for more. The one who smote great kings for their land, for his mercy and just forever. The one who saved me from the accident, for his mercy and just forever. The one who kept me from losing my mind, for his mercy and just forever. At the count of three, I want you to lift up a loud voice. One, two, three. Fill this place with thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We give you thanks. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the blood. When my enemies and my foes eat up my flesh they stumble and they fail <laughs> Whoa. thank you for May 29 2009 when the pilot said ladies and gentlemen this is beyond our control we don't know what to do anymore when the plane was going up and down you bore it on eagle's wings I will not forget Thank you for your grace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the doors you open. Thank you for the doors you close. Ah, I just watched a video. How Potter City were on the streets 
for 40 days and look at the same church that was on the street for 40 days and they own a city no man can do these things except god be with him can you thank god for potter city now i have a word for this house but before we release it give thanks i came to usher you into a season of mega grace God has raised me in this time to show the church the ancient path in praise and worship. Dear man of God, I was, I was in the lodge. And please, can you honor this great man that I've just come to love and his wife? I'm not just saying this. I love Prophet Sakodi spirit. I love it. I love it. Greatness with simplicity. That's the type I love. Listen. So I was in the lodge. Just exquisite place, you know, made for, for us. And then I went to the library. Because I'm a student of greatness, so whenever I find greatness, I don't just appreciate it, I, I learn. What, what stream is responsible for this grace? You see, there are streams in the spirit. Streams. I'm like, which, which, which stream is, is responsible for this greatness? And then I picked up one of his books today. And I began to read. I picked up the book on fasting. And I said, it looks like this man. There's a grace that flows from this fasting. You see, many times a prophet is without honor, save in his hometown. Me, I'm a student of the move of God. So I go into places... I'm asking the Holy Spirit. I'm studying. I'm studying the culture. What is what is responsible for this 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 thing I'm seeing? I picked fasting. I picked prayer. I picked giving. He's such a giver. I've not known him for too much, too many years, but this is what I found out. I picked simplicity, and then I began to pray and read my Bible. And then I went to Psalm 42. And I believe this is the word of this house in this season. Psalm 42 verse 10. New Living Translation. And then we'll go to our second half. And then ascend. Something is about to happen here. Psalm 42 from verse 10. This will happen as we begin to worship. Sorry, Isaiah 42, Isaiah 42, Isaiah 42, Isaiah 42. So when my brother Moses was reading that psalm, I said, Ah, oh, another sing a new song. Let's read together. I want to go. Sing a new song to the Lord. Sing his praises from the ends of the earth. Sing. All you who live in the distant coastlands. And I realized that Ghana is a coastal nation. Let's go. Join in the chorus. You desert towns. Let the villages of Kedah rejoice. Let the people of Sela sing for joy. Shout praises from the mountain tops. Continue. Let the whole world glorify. The, the Lord will march forth like a mighty hero. 
he will come out like a warrior full of fury he will shout his battle cry and crush all your every enemy of this house get ready get ready he will say what i have long been silent yes i have restrained myself but now like a woman in labor i will cry out and groan and pants I will level the mountains and hills and blight all their greenery. I will turn the rivers into dry land and will dry up all the pools. Verse 16. I will lead blind Israel down a new path. Get ready for a new path. Guiding them along an unfamiliar way. I will brighten the darkness before them and smooth out the road ahead of them yes i will indeed do these things i will not forget when you hear the trumpet i want you to shout
trumpet and prophesy on it. A few years ago, I went to a real estate company, not even a church. I rarely do those things, but a Christian company. And they said, we are entering a new season. Can you come and usher us in with the sound of the trumpet? While I was there ministering, I asked them to shout after I blow the trumpet. And I told them that as they shout, that, they, that mighty stubborn trees in their families will come down. Months later, I met a man who said there was this stubborn, fierce, brutal herbalist in his village. Now he was a terror. A terror. I mean, he would kill people and say, I kill people. So he shouted. He obeyed the prophetic word and shouted. And said, after that meeting, they called him and they said, that mighty tree has come down. Can I prophesy right now? Every Pharaoh, every Goliath, I introduce them to the Lord of hosts. Who are thou, O great mountain, standing before Zerubbabel, standing before Ghana, standing before Potter City. As we blow the horn, may every Jericho come down. We're going to blow it seven times. At the seventh time, every witch, every warlock, every gate, every stubborn enemy that has resisted your progress, may they come down. May they come down. We come to exact dominion. Let the high praises of the Lord be in their mouth and the two edged sword in your hand. As I sound the trumpet, we unleash the sword of the Lord. We unleash the sword of the Lord. We unleash the sword of the Lord. He disappoints the devices of the crafty, and their hands cannot perform the enterprise. He makes the finance mad. He turns the wise man backwards. He does your battle battle. For there is no enchantment against you. There is no divination against you. As I blow the horn, let Pharaohs come down. Let Goliaths come down. Let walls come down. When you hear the trumpet, you will shout with your trumpet, with your voice. is coming down that depth is coming down that depth has come down we shout over every court case every long-standing court case
There's something called the law of first mention in the Bible. Theologians, you know, it's a, it's a technique for studying the Bible. 
why would he minister here as a married man first? Why? I'm not just saying this to excite you. I have small grace on my life. You will see marriages like you've never seen before. Let me tell you, I don't just speak. I pastor a small church, it's not even this big. But we've been, we got a word on kingdom marriages. And in a short while, we are almost having about 20. Can I prophesy over the singles here? Jesus here. You are coming again. a few areas but well, let's start with marriage first can i beg my brother and sister to come let's let's release this grace where is moses and mary i love this couple put judges 21 21 as they stand here singing we release that oil Water city, are you ready? Listen to the instruction. Listen to the instruction. You see? She was dancing, eh? When the heavens were open. Let me show you in the Bible. Let's read. One to go. When you see the young women of Shiloh come out for their dances, rush out from the vineyards and each of you can take one of them home to the land of Benjamin to be your wife come on and say hey! for those that will dance tonight hey have you seen it in the bible she was dancing and the husband located her I've shown you in scripture I'm a, I'm, I'm, I like to be prophetic, but I'm also very scriptural. I must find it in the Bible. Let's read it again. Want to go? When you see the young women of Shiloh, when you see the young women of Potter City, when they do what? Come out for their dances. Rush out. Someone say rush out. Rush out. The way you rush out. Yes, sir. I rush. Hey. I rush. Hey. I rush. Uh-huh. Rush out from the vineyards. And each of you can take one of them home. To the land of Accra. Kumasi. Hey. Tema. Hey. Where again? We are not. See, we are prophesying. I'm not telling you theory. If you if you come to Lagos, get come to the Oasis and see the, the proof. This year is the year of kingdom marriages. Yes. What is your instruction? You will dance with reckless abandon to the Lord. And as you dance, you are releasing that favor. As you dance, the eyes of the brothers will be open. As you dance, favor will be coming down like torrents. Jesus is yeah. hey. you, you are coming again. again. Jesus is yeah. in, in your special way. What was impossible? You make possible. Jesus is yeah. wait, 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 wait. prophetic in instruction dance you are looking at them you are filming i said dance i said dance 
I said dance. I said dance. this a couple of the time but I feel steady in my heart that this is no, you are not ministering here for the first time by accident I don't know what this house has there's favor on your pastor on your prophet do you know what it means to pull Moses please on a Sunday Nathaniel Bassi Joe Metu on into one place I'm going to ask them to just speak a word over you people Please, this the God that did this declare that there will be multiplier effects in this house and in the body of Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us share a word of prayer. Almighty God, thank you so much for the privilege to gather here today as your children. Lord, we just commit your people before you, that Lord, as they seek thee first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, that all other things shall be added to them. Lord, I pray that as they have sought you first in all things, as they look to you for marriage, God, may you add it to them in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh God, that it's only you that can provide the one the one that will take them to their destiny. We pray in Jesus' name, God, that you will bring it by the power of the Spirit of God, that in the same way you divinely orchestrated for us to meet, so shall you do it for your children in Jesus' name. Because, God, you are the same today, yesterday, today, and forever. So therefore, God, do as your word says. Do what only you can do. We will give you all the praise and glory, for indeed you are worthy to be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Lift your hands to the Lord. You know, while I was meditating on every day, I just thank God for the wife that the Lord gave me. And the Lord is telling somebody, you are not asking for too much. What you want is in existence. That very person that God has designed for you. That very person that God has called to compliment you. That God has raised to be your husband, to be your wife. And help you achieve you know, your purpose in life. I declare that that person comes to you now. In the name of Jesus. And there is a prayer I'm going to pray. Because the Lord told me that many times. He brings the right people away. But we are not able to discern, to know them. To see them. They come around, we look for the wrong things. And because we are focused on the wrong things, we miss out on what the Spirit of God is trying to do. I declare in the name of Jesus that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. That you will know. When you see the person, you will know. In the name of Jesus. They may not look like it, but the Lord will show you. You will discern them by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. I declare that this peace of mind, this tranquility that we enjoy, that the Lord will reproduce it. The Lord will multiply it in the name of Jesus. And we declare as God's servant has said, it is kingdom marriages in the name of Jesus. Can you celebrate these kingdom stars for us? We honor you and truly love you.
Thank you, darling. Amen. Lift your hands. Are you being blessed? Psalm 44, verse 3. Let's blow the trumpet for something else. The Lord has done it. Finally. Finally. Lord has done it. Finally, finally, finally. The Lord has done it. Finally, finally, finally. Can we release the grace for landed properties? That's what I hear in my spirit. Because of time, I won't share some testimonies, but I'm seeing some dangerous favors in that area. The song, See What the Lord Has Done, I've shared the testimony over and over again. I was ministering in my friend's church, William McDowell, and the church was supposed to get a property. And one of the government officials of that area said over his dead body that the church will not get it. So I was in Orlando, and Pastor William said, please stay back and lead us in the triumphant praise. And while we we're praising God, we release a word that this is the last time I will be at their former property. That the next time I come will be in the new place. And three months later, they got that property. Because that government, that, that person in government died. <laughs> Prophet, I know you think you people have gotten properties, but get ready for some new dimensions. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Psalm 44 verse 3. Psalm 44 verse 3. You will hear testimonies from this house. They did not conquer the land. Give me the King James. King James. For they, for they got not the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did their own arms save them. But thy right hand and thy arm and the light of thy countenance because thou had a favor unto them get ready for some supernatural favor for the earth is the laws and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein as I sing this song I want you to join me Ebenezer hey. I came with a sound tonight. I came to declare an end. I came to declare that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell there in share one testimony and I'll blow the trumpet every now and then I pray in tongues I go on prayer walk oh in my estate by the way let me teach you a secret one of the ways we take possession over the physical earth is by prayer walking for wherever the soul of your feet shall tread upon so one day I was praying in the spirit and the spirit witness in my heart the land you bless blesses you I will just bless people in the estate. Bless them. There's one, and then there was one prize property, choice one. A wealthy man bought it. 
he was going to retire. He works in an oil company. He was going to retire there with his family and live there. I'm sharing this to tell you that your shouting is, I'm not wasting your time. He prepared to retire there, lived in the US, came back. But for some reason, the wife said, I don't, that there's too much traffic getting to the place. Let them get to another place. So they got another place. They're you know, wealthy people. So he just wanted to sell this place off. He just decided he wouldn't advertise it. Very choice property. Choice. People came, but he refused to sell to them. He refused. Then one day, one of the agents came to me to say, this man wants to sell this place. But he's refusing to sell to people. And the price is very good. Can you try to see if you get it? I had a witness that God will give us the land. So, I was in the radio, son in the car, listening to Radio FM for the first time. I just happened to listen to it. I don't know why. I normally won't listen to radio. And the radio was on a particular frequency. I won't say that, say it up on, on air because it's sensitive. So let's say, for instance, the, the radio frequency was 1500. 1500 FM. One, yeah, 1500 FM. I got a phone call. While on the phone call, I said, what is the size of the land? The radio was on 1500 FM. They said, the land is 1520. <laughs> if you're a prophetic person, you know it's a sign. See, it's a sign. I said, okay, I think that's a clue. Let's go look at the place. Took the keys, they opened the place. There was only one furniture on the TV stand. Guess the furniture. The furniture was a molded image of a man blowing the trumpet. So I said, okay, God kept this land for me. Anyway, they sent my name to the man. He was refusing anybody. He said, is it the man that praises God and sings? He said, give him the land. Can I prophesy? That's the kind of favor I'm talking about. There is something somewhere. Maybe not just land. Maybe a job. Maybe a contract. Because you have praised God for hours. As I blow the trumpet. May it rain like torrents. Are you ready? When you hear the trumpet, I want you to release a shout. Why shout? Joshua 6.15 I'll show you in the Bible. Shout and trumpet sound. Gave them a land. Very quickly. Joshua. Joshua 6.15 Joshua 6.15 Joshua 6.15 Go to verse 20. Go to verse 20. Go to verse 16, 16, 16. Want to go. And it came to pass at the seventh time when the priest blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, shout for the Lord has given you the city. Wait, wait, when you hear the trumpet, can I have one more trumpeter? Where is the trumpeter of this house? Dear prophet of God, can I seek your permission to also please come? Please come. When we blow the trumpet, the man of God will declare, shout, for God has given you the city. You will hear strange testimonies. That's just one I gave you. Just one. Just one. Just one. Your praise exacts dominion. Do you know what you did here for hours? Are you ready? Where's your other trumpeter? When we blow the horn, you will sh when we blow the horn, prophet will say, shout, for God has given you the city. And then we'll close. Where's your other trumpeter? The Bible says when they blew the trumpets, 
Hard and drop the us run away. Oh God. Okay. Is he the one there? Yeah, he's coming. May you not miss your day of visitation. Yes. Very important. Father, by a supernatural act of God, give your people an evidence of dominion. So we're just going to sound an alarm. For those online, if you're watching, you're going to shout. This is not just, whatever land means to you. It may be debt. It may be money owed you. It may be something that is 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 been is been in contention. As you as we shout, the man of God will declare. Sorry, as we play. The man of God will tell you to shout for God has given you the city and you will shout and we'll end with hallelujah A. Are you ready? Messages, music chant prayer declaration here on Christian Empowerment Network. Swallow your pride tonight. Wherever you are. Captain Coleman died a long time ago. The hand of God, the hand of God is here. The Holy Ghost, we say, Holy Ghost. Majesty, the one I serve, I pray over me. You are saturated by God. He will be the one to operate your mind. <laughs> 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 but, but that's actually how God speaks to a lot of people. You know, you may be waiting for somebody.